Joel Hawthorne of the Morning Snapshot joins us now for the final trade of the day. How are you doing? I'm good, Angie. Good. I love your stock pick. You're taking a look at Beyond Meat. Yes. This was such a hot IPO. Absolutely. It's still hot or not? It is. It is. I think that uh, this stock is definitely undervalued. I think uh, everyone is very curious as to see how well these uh, kind of the Beyond Meat, the Impossible Burger, um, this whole arena of uh, stocks and, and products just uh, really going to the alternative meat, beef products. I think this is very popular right now. Uh, this is a stock that's trading at about 126 and change. Uh, the 52-week high is about 239, almost 240. I think this stock in the long term can definitely see uh, those highs. So I'm definitely very bullish to stock right now. That is the question. It's cooled off, but you never know. Will yeah. it bounce back? As a trader, technically, what do you see here? Uh, right now, I see the stock having a bit of a pullback right now, and I think the, the uh, right now at these, one, at these levels around 126 and change, close to 127, I think this stock is very cheap for a poise to really uh, get in and kind of hold this stock for the long haul, in my opinion, for myself at least. Mm -hmm. uh, I think right now that uh, everything about this stock right now, the volatility there is pretty decent. But also, I, I really believe that uh, just a lot of people are going to move towards those, those alternative meat products. Everyone's really health conscious right now. Uh, from what I understand, I've never had it. But from what I understand, uh, <laughs> the, the burger, uh, the, this patty is definitely very close to, to, uh, to the beef products. So, right. very right. interesting. Let's take a look at just the implied volatility because that really determines the price of your option strategy mm -hmm. in this stock. And you said it was low. Yeah, uh, so yes. that tells me that it's relatively low for you then? Yeah, so anytime implied vol is low, uh, option prices are low, mm -hmm. and uh, just the alternative for an implied vol is high, okay. uh, then option prices. It means that basically there is some expectation that this stock is going to move in one direction or the other. Uh, right now, implied vol is moderately low, uh, so I think in the long term right now, uh, the street is definitely poised to see this uh, that those option prices are gonna be fairly low for right now. So what's your options trade then? Actually, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just really buy the stock. Mm. I really think wow. in the long term. Not taking advantage of the low vol. No, no, because right now I think that this is a long-term hold for me. Um, if I did, you know, look at this stock in that regard uh, for an options play, mm -hmm. it would usually be probably just putting on a, some kind of a protective put, being long on the stock, while actually buying at the money puts, just kind of protect myself from any downturn. Mm -hmm. Right. But I just like the stock overall, though. Okay, so you're going to buy at these levels and hold on. Yeah, I'm going to buy at these levels and then expect, you know, hopefully uh, in the near future we can get back to those 52-week highs and see what happens. We'll see what happens for sure. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me, Angie. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.